For me, the 2019 Daiwa Brim Australian Open was all about the crankbaits. It was 10 years since I won the Sydney Grand Final on crankbaits back in 2009. And some early morning high tides, some dirty Sydney Harbour water, and exactly the right conditions conspired to make 2019, for me, the year of the crankbait. Let me take you through how I fished them. So, I don't reckon they change much. That's one, that's a good one, that's a real good one. Of course, going into the open, I had every plan of fishing top water because March, the water's still pretty warm and the top water bite can be pretty good. But when I got out there on the pre-fish day and saw what the tides were doing, saw that the fish were shallow and saw that there were a lot of fish in the lower to middle reaches of the harbour, I grabbed a crankbait, in this case an Atomic 38D. Boom! That's how you start the open. <laughs> Look at that thing! On the crankbait. <laughs> Number one! He's only about 32, but he came out of some evil country. Three pound fluorocarbon on that new TD Zero rod. And he smoked it. He's a local fish too, look at him. Just dark. Ow. That's the hook in the finger. Oh, look at that. Get out of there, mate, come on. I'll get him out soon. Let's throw him in the well first. Push down on that. Comes out. Straight out, you gotta push down on that bar. That's... Now, down in the lower harbour, first thing in the morning, that tide was right up on the edges. And when you get the tide so high, you find that the rocks don't have that kelp and that weed on them, and the crankbaits, they can just bounce straight over the top. The brim, they get up there on their sides and feed. They hang in those cracks, and they're a perfect target for a deep diver bouncing across those rock tops. Uh, maybe not. Another one though, he's gonna go. He's gonna just go, I reckon. Let's put him on the stick. Yeah, 26 and a half. Now we all know that tournament fishermen are fairly superstitious and I see this all the time. I see anglers that are associated with the naming sponsor of the event doing really well. So with this in mind, I suppose I went to Daiwa and I got a set of the new Daiwa TD0 rods that they were using this event to launch. They're a distinctive silver colour. They're a great set of tapers for Australian conditions that I had about five or six different rods. This one here, a seven foot three light spin was great for throwing these cranks and for keeping the fish up and out of the cracks but still keeping those hooks in their mouth. Fish. That's gonna be legal. He, he just, oh, he just touched something. I think he's obviously hooked in the side or something. Get out of there, mate. No, he's not even legal, I don't reckon. If he is, he's just. Looks like number three to me. Yeah. Oof, the Valcluse jumping brim. And as you can see, the technique, well, it's pretty easy. You cast into that shallow water so that that lure bangs across the rocks and that triggers the strike. And then when you get a bite, you just keep on winding slow until that fish loads up. Oh, don't go down a crack, mate. Don't go down a crack. I'm gonna go and chase him a bit. Try and stay on top of him. That feels bigger. That's no, not really. But he's legal. Still big enough to get me places I don't want to be. There you go, it's number four. <laughs> Probably the second biggest one. <laughs> That one. You'll notice my fighting style for this brim and all of these fish are caught on three pounds straight through fluorocarbon. It's a mix between trying to get their head turned and then once they're swimming the right way, just wind that fish and let it swim. If he's swimming out into the deep water, no real pumping and winding required, just sort of let him get out there. But if he's heading into some nasty country, then you've got to make the decision. Am I going to stop him or am I going to hope he comes back out again? Just remember this though, 
brim do not break a slack line. Still, this will be number five if he gets in. Boom, yeah. five. <laughs> 7.56. Four, eight o'clock. The good thing is these rock shelves, when the tide's up, there's no oysters on them. The oysters are all two or three foot down right now. So you're sort of cranking over pretty clean country. He's in a crack, that one. Oh, he came out. Oh, this could be not pretty. He's in a, has he gone over? He's coming back. You just gotta let him decide to come out, I think, cause I'm not gonna bully him out. And he's going over the shelf. He looks all right. He's getting smaller as he comes in. <laughs> he's bigger than 26 though, he's bigger than one of them in there. <laughs> this is a good old fashioned crankbait fest. Number six. Yeah, that's gonna get trouble, isn't it? Yeah, I'll look at him right up on the edge. <laughs> All right. If that comes out, it's a miracle. Look at him, he's just swimming out. I think he's all right. He's, yeah, I just spoke too early. That's a miracle if he comes out. <laughs> I had to lose one sooner or later. Get out of here, mate. Oh. Come on. Take it easy, old bean, that's it. Head out. Get out. <laughs> he ate it nearly all the way back at the boat. I can see him swimming over that shelf. If he just comes out in this deep water, I can back this drag off a bit more. Just like that. Here, mate, you're safe in the deep water. Come on, mate, get in. Oh, he's a bit of fish. Back that drag a bit off because I don't know how hammered this line's gotten. Oh! I just saw that there's a big rock down there and I thought, oh, he's clear of it. One of the cool things about fishing Sydney Harbour is the fact that spots like this that look like there should be a brim everywhere normally have got a brim somewhere. That's where I needed to go. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. Come on, mate, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. I'm never gonna get this one, this is too big. Look at the head shakes on him. Look at the head shakes on him. He's a big fish. I'm just going softly on him and taking him out. Come on, mate. I'm going to back off a little bit now. You can still make it back. This is a pretty common technique with tournament anglers. Get the fish coming towards you and then drive the boat away from the structure. See, I'm a bit tenderfoot now. <laughs> come on, mate. Let's go. This look big. Yeah, look at him. That's a good one. He hasn't even played up yet. This is where the last one did me, wasn't it? Out wide. Keep on going. He's choking on it too. He has choked on that thing. That's why he's not fighting. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing! How good, how good. <laughs> Look at the hand. <laughs> Shaking! 
and he has choked on that thing. And that's it. Crankbaiting brim off shallow rocky banks is that simple. Nice light straight through fluorocarbon line, a long soft rod, a steady retrieve where you keep on winding when you get the bites and then take it easy on the fish on the way in and you too can pull some great brim off shallow areas in your river.